Hello, this is a quick demo of um, a secondary school system where we're calculating the new attainment 8 uh, performance measure uh, that's coming in from uh, 2016 onwards. Uh, this is just a, pretty much a straightforward mark sheet. Uh, I'm looking at the template view here so we can see how it works on the inside. You can see down the list here that I've got all the columns set up. Let's just zoom that up so you can see all the columns. Here we go. So here's a set of columns that basically summarise what other teachers have entered across all these different subjects for year 10 autumn term. Um, it's uh, something that most schools uh, will have access to if they've been using Assessment Manager for any period of time. Um, all I've done here is add a set of extra formula uh, to the bottom here that hopefully in, in just a few lines here, there's about uh, what 15 lines there, and 15 lines help the school get the attainment eight figure for, the, for, for this particular year group in this particular term. All this first formula does here, max English one, is it looks for the highest uh, grade across either English literature or English language. Um, max one there basically is saying, look for the highest one of these two grades. So that identifies the highest of the two. This next formula identifies the second highest of those two English grades. Uh, there we go, using the max formula again with the number two on it. And it'll look for the second highest value across those two grades there. So the attainment eight um, performance statistic double weights English, uh, the highest of those two English grades. So we use another formula here to take whatever the outcome of max English one was and multiply it by two. It also uh, asks us to double weight maths as well. So this formula just takes whatever grade value is in the original attainment aspect and multiplies it by two there. The next uh, set of six lines look across the, the English baccalaureate subjects. So here's all the baccalaureate subjects. I'm using a max formula again, in this particular case, to look for the highest uh, grade across all those. Uh, subjects and you can see there that we're looking across all the baccalaureate subjects plus English or the uh, second highest rather English subjects so that's the second highest English subject the next line will look for the second highest value across all those subjects same subjects but this time the difference is we're looking for the second highest value and as you can see, that then repeats, looking for the third highest value until we get right to the bottom here where we look for the sixth highest value across that list of English back subjects. So then we look for the non-baccalaureate subjects that count towards the performance measure. And basically, here's a list of all the non-EBAC subjects plus the the bottom three EBAC subjects, they're also included in this measure. And again, we're using a max one formula to pick out the highest of the grades across that particular range. And the key bit here is we're including four or five, the fourth, fifth and sixth highest English baccalaureate subjects in this formula alongside the other non EBAC uh, subjects. And we do the same same sort of formula, a max formula across exactly the same aspects, but looking for the second highest across that range, and then the third highest across that same range. So then here's a column, I've called it attainment six. Uh, the reason I've called it attainment six is because it's adding together all those max formulas. So the highest English baccalaureate subject, the second highest baccalaureate subject, the third highest, the first highest of all the others, the second highest and the third highest of all the others. So it's looking across those six highest values. And then we add back in the maths, form, the maths and English doubled and add that to the attainment six value. And finally, the final line here divides that then by 10. Uh, and we're dividing by 10 instead of eight because don't forget English and maths were double weighted. So in this column here then, this final column will be the attainment eight 
performance measure figure. This, of course, uh, needs to be compared with a performance measure uh, to give an individual value for your school in terms of how, how high above or below a national average figure you are as a school. But the, uh, as of now, May 2014, the government hasn't uh, released that value. So it's as simple as that. Um, with